We're out here in beautiful Big Bear, California at the Venture Van Expo. Oh yeah. Here all weekend. What's here up, all man? weekend, baby. I'm Brian Unger, Mountain Guide, Patagonia Customer Service. I'm Jack Morris. I have a broken neck, but I'm here anyways. This is the best show on earth. Of a rolling wind can be turned away. plug, Trail Fire 4 in 1 portable grill. Check this out. This is a nice day so far. Not too hot. What is this, sir? What do you got? It's a fire pit that turns into a grill, that turns into a block, that turns into a convectional oven. What can you cook underneath the lid? Anything. As Mark Daly, Grid Overland. We're from Southwest Washington. We're just down here at the Big Bear Show, the Adventure Van Expo. This is a Ford Transit Eco Boosted All Wheel Drive with a pop top. Top sports a full size 54 inch mattress, electric, lighting built in, vent fan in the roof. Everything's built modular. So we set, fold down our beds. We can use this in an extended countertop, table, desk with the view out the back. Uh, this ends up being a queen size mattress. But we sleep sideways in the van. Queen size downstairs, full size upstairs. This actually gets six foot seven side to side. I've got air conditioning, even with a pop top, we're running AC in here. I've got my ducks in the wall. So I can point them at the bed. I've got two ducks down at the ground, two ducks over the bed, um, 13,000 BTUs of cooling. I've got a 10,000 watts of power to run that AC for 10, 11 hours, totally off grid, totally off of battery power, single charge. But we also built in a smart system where when the batteries get low, they'll sense that, they'll open a communication port with the van computer and they will rapid charge the batteries in 60 minutes. So what makes it unique is not necessarily the size of the battery being able to run AC off grid. It's actually how fast we can charge it and use it over and over and over again. As long as I've got gas in the tank, I have power in the middle of everywhere or nowhere. What I like about grit is that when you walk into a van, you get to learn the different quality function aspects of a van. And you guys bolt everything to the frame because we all know vans rattle and shake and they get really loud when you're driving down the freeway. But I can get in your van and I can start shaking the entire van off of your countertop. I know that this is into the subframe. Yeah. Now even all these little black screws that you see, that's metal screws tapped straight into the aluminum framing that's built inside of every one of our cabins. You're not going to find any wood nails, no wood screws to rattle loose. All of that stuff is built through the body of the van. Quiet ride. Quiet, silent, lighter, stronger, more durable. What company is this? This is uh, uh, Camp Life Customs out of San Diego, California. And uh, what we did here is engineer the Happy Jack to be able to seat and also bed for people. So the controls here, lower us down. Just remove the cotter pins in the bottom, the top. Remove this, this drops here. We have a, a lagoon mount table that fills in the secondary gap. And then you have one more bed pad who comes in here and you can sleep with the four people. It's pretty efficient. It's pretty easy to swap out. Yeah, it's good use of space. To a little bit more modern feel. I like that shower. Yeah. You want to just go to the shower with me in there? Yeah. I'll shower with you. Yeah, let's go yeah. to the shower. <laughs> So a full aluminum shower with a slide out toilet, hidden in there. It's enough room to take a shower and keep people if you needed to. Instant hot water with the propane heater. Table pulls out, all bamboo cabinetry, dovetailed. All bamboo, 600 amp hours, uh, battery spec being system. We got 400 watts of solar up top. We're going to have a 12 volt. Uh, AC up top. Or aluminum shower. You guys do that in house? Yeah. yeah. Everything we do is in house. In house. Yep. And you're out of San Diego. Yep. Camp Life Customs. Yep. You got it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Hey there. I was selling Sume uh, Infinity Vans. My brother and I started a few years ago. And uh, we do a full interior kit for the Sprinter 144 floor, wall, ceiling, and all the cabinets. DIY? Yeah. How much does a kit like this go for? 
Uh, our base kit, floor wall ceiling is 12,000 and the cabinetry is 19,500, so it's 31,500. And how long for a guy with limited skills to install? DIY, it would probably take you about a week. We do our training over the weekend, so we do floor wall ceiling on Saturday and we do the rest. You actually Sunday. help your customers install? Yeah. Really? We have cool. a, tra tra a training every month. Awesome, thank you. At our shop in uh, Santa Rosa, California. Okay, I like it. I'm Jessica with Lost Highway Customs. We do all interior components for your Sprinter van out of uh, marine grade aluminum. So we have the overhead cabinets here. We make pedestal galleys, toilet boxes, and bed systems. Everything's prefab off the shelf for the DIY guy if he yes. wants to do it himself. Yep. Plug and play, very easy to install. Um, everything mounts on the floor for your lower components. And then for your upper components, we have both for cargo and factory headliner end pieces. So whether you have a cargo or a um, crew van, everything fits. What would the rough cost be on this build out for so cabinets? This build out for cabinets just for Lost Highway components, you're looking at about 11000 for a complete interior, two overhead cabinets, bed system, galley, toilet box. So you have your storage, you have your sleep system, you have your fresh water to do your dishes, wash your face, and then you have overhead storage. This is Dave with Four Wheel Campers. Just wanted to show you one of our beautiful Project M's. This Project M is specifically on a Ram Power Wagon. As you can see, this gives you the best of both worlds. If the full slide-in isn't the best fit for your needs and for your family, this is a great option. The Project M is like a traditional camper top or shell top, but it still has that pop-up in that bed area that you can sleep in there with your family. So on this rig, you can see he's got some accessories on the outside. He's got the awnings and the roto packs. If we swing around to the back side of this beautiful rig, you can see he's added some power to it so he can run his fridge. He's also got the deck drawer system and you can see there's the bed. The bed will push up into the cab over specifically so you can stand in here, do whatever you need to do. It's got the seating that also can be shelving. So based on what your needs are, you can add different ways or different accessories to really build this out. So you can keep it pretty wide open. So if your work requires Monday through Friday a truck bed that has the room and space, you can do that. If this can be your dedicated rig to get out, you can build it fully out. So it gives you that flexibility that only a four-wheel camper can do. Ricardo Beer Garden. Come on, Bob. We got all the beer you can ask for. Kegs on tap. IPAs, some Topo Chicos. World is your wife's through beers here. Hi, I'm Amy. Uh, we're the fans. <laughs> based in Los Angeles. This is what we call our utility spa. It functions as a lot of different things. It's your bathroom, it's your shower, it's your gear storage, it's your garage, it's an airlock when you're out, wanting to get them in and out when it's cold, keep it nice and toasty inside. It's a totally waterproof space. So it's a way to enter the van when you're getting dirty outside so the outside doesn't come inside and sleep with you that night. How many bikes can I stuff in here? We've stuffed three, I'm pretty sure you can fit four. Yeah. We've got your fridge freezer. Access inside, outside. You have an induction cooktop. Slides out of here, you've got a dual burner. Tucks right back in. Your sink also folds away. It's got a clean surface so when you're not cooking, you don't always feel like you're in your kitchen. You've got your couch here that just slides straight out and becomes the bed. You have a closet here, hanging storage. Shelves in the back, locked compartments in the bottom. We've utilized this bin system for storage throughout the van here and also in the kitchen cabinet. So it's soft, you can pack in, pack out really easily. Nothing's rattling around while you're driving. And then we've set up a projector screen if you want to have a nice little movie night. And instead of a vent, a roof vent, you have a full pop-up window. Full hatch, yep. Full hatch. And then there's a roof deck off the back. You can tie down more stuff. My name is Martin Mahano. I'm the account manager for Van Mark Mansky located in Westminster, California. We build everything for vans, so exterior components ranging from rear carrier, roof racks, uh, bumpers, uh, side steps, capsules, which most people call them flares, uh, and then we also do rear steps. We also do full van conversions. Show me this, I'm interested in this setup. This, uh, this is our mule carrier. This is a passenger side. 
this configuration shows you everything that we can actually put that you can actually put onto a meal carrier. This particular peak component here is the bike rack, so you can actually lay one ups, so you can uh, put your bikes horizontally. This is our medium box featuring uh, a locking lid and a fully flip down tray. This configuration shows our, that you can carry a propane tank. In this particular configuration, obviously your spare tire, that way you can open up underneath. If you're a 144, you can actually add a 40 gallon tank that we fabricate. We offer a, a ladder that you can actually add to it. And this, this is just a tire ladder combination. But they're modular, you can configure them however you want. I'll introduce you to our loft build. This particular build is the uh, one that actually offers a in indoor shower as well as a fixed loft bed. Split kitchen, You've got induction stove, you got an isotherm DD5 uh, underneath. Flipped, uh, excuse me, a pull out tray. So if you're a mountain biker, if you just want to store uh, the garage uh, actually pulls out. I think this individual might be pulling it out right now. And that's how it goes. What would a build like this cost, roughly? This particular build, you're looking at uh, brand new, $235,000. With the van? With the van, yes. How long does it take you guys to build a van like this? Seven to nine weeks. And you're booked out how long? Uh, you come in. Ready to go. Get you, get you in, and seven to nine weeks, you're out. Right on. Thank you. Absolutely. My name is Devin. Uh, we're with uh, Overland Van Project here out of Portland. I've heard a lot about you guys. What sets you apart from other van builders? I think our, our, our cabinetry really, really sets us apart. I think it's, that, it's that quality material. Um, you know, I mean, some, some of the stuff that we're using is just fantastic. Fantastic. Van, fantastic. We're fantastic over here. When did AMG start producing a Sprinter model? <laughs> one off. This is the one off. Yeah, this is just it's our it's, it's our personal touch. It's twin turbo. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's a twin turbo. Yeah, we got this. There's a lot of questions. This 135 ISO 30 fridge. Oh. Uh, that comes in. It's pretty fantastic. <laughs> then we have, uh, you have your uh, shower pan. So built-in shower pan. It comes in, we have a little pan that goes in there and uh, these little, there's four little points for a curtain to come down. So you can just have a, you have your shower right here in the middle. Of the Beautiful. It's kind of nice. So there's bolts in here. So you can bolt down a seat. Third yeah. passenger. Yep, third passenger. So we've got this fun little glass cleaner. So this guy, folds up so it folds up so you have a nice uh, Murphy bed in here it gets you all your space back you also get your nice countertops so what's that made out of what's this yeah this is chlorian 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 yeah it's a false it's plastic what's this van cost roughly this is about 280 300 for sale right now for sale, 300. Uh, I can leave today with this van. 300. Do you take cash or check? Uh, either. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you very much.